currently I'm having problems with my toilet system. It's very slow to refill after flushing. So I'll demonstrate the issue to you now. So we'll remove the top, just remove the flush button, turn it anti-clockwise. Lift the lid and you can see inside it's got a little trickle so that's why it's taking forever to fill up. First thing I'm going to do is isolate the water supply at the isolator valve. If you don't have one of these you could use the top stop tap screw head is in line with the pipe, it's fully open. I'm just going to give it a little turn, find the sweet spot where it disengages the water. So what I'm going to do now is have a little look in here. Uh, we may have to disengage this arm here in order to unscrew that, but I'm just going to have a quick look for now. See the mechanism there. A little dig in here. Just need to check the seal. Can be a bit fiddly to remove. I'm just going to resort to using my fingers. And that's the seal there. And it looks to be totally intact. On closer examination we have a, a tiny little rupture in this seal. So we're going to have to replace that. So I had a look around online and a couple of days of patience has yielded this replacement part. And uh, I'm quite pleased with that. It fits all Siamp fill valves. This cost in the region of £1.89, so hopefully this should be a nice cheap repair. So we'll just go through the procedure of refit. That's the, the end which screws in. And that's the replacement part. You see there's a little notch on it there. Insert that notch in here and we should actually just stick in place so that's in the correct location all being well and hook this bit the fork part of it in between those two there those two washers should hold it in place nicely and screw up the end I'm not going to go too mad, just basic finger tightness should suffice. I should do it, and we'll turn the water on and see what happens. So I'll just show you how to flush the toilet. I'm going to put that back in the push button and just press. And just watch the water level as it rises. And it seems to be refilling at a considerably better rate than previously. A tiny little drip there, I don't know what's causing that, but I'm not particularly worried. So we'll just sit with this until it shuts off, which should be any time soon. See the float just twitched there, it rises up, and it should shut off now. So I think we'll call that job fixed on the cheap. Um, many thanks for watching, and... Why not subscribe to improve your knowledge of repair possibilities?